welcome back to our channel guys let me put this away Bro, i can't wait oh, okay. so we came to a place called popcorn big chicken <laughs> called big chicken he got popcorn chicken um we've never been here before we wanted to try a new place so this is what i got i got the spicy i forgot what it's called what is it called big earl or something big like earl. that oh yeah give me those fries but yeah we wanted to try a new place mmm fries a1 we wanted to do a little tag for you guys today like mm -hmm. a mukbang and a tag all in one. Mm -hmm. Slapping? Okay. That's called the shack sauce. Let me see. Let me try the shack sauce. Is it spicy? Mm. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Dude, the fries are actually really good. What the heck? Bear with us because we've just never been here before and the food is just really good. Luis loves his chicken. He goes hard for chicken, huh? Yes, I do. He knows his chicken. If it's not good, it's good. It's good. Does mine have shrimp? No, it's um, I don't know. What is that? Onion? Yeah, it's onion. Maybe it's fried onion. Yeah. No, yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. Let me try this burger. I got me some popcorn chicken. Yeah, popcorn chicken though. I'm not gonna lie. I was like in between. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, should mm -hmm. I get that or not? Mmm. We went straight into this video, guys. No, no time wasted. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. This is actually fire. <gasps> you want to try? No. Dude, this is better than the Chick-fil-A and the Popeye's crispy chicken. Uh, this just might I be up the there. Bathroom, Look how thin the freaking fries are. But... Do not underestimate the thinness. So good. It's nice. Continue eating your food because I'm already almost done. Boom. What is that? Boom. What is that called? Just fries like uh, bacon. You know what I'm saying? Uh, jalapenos. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know what these are. Let me turn on the car to put the window down. Just looking, getting hot in here. You want your window down? Yeah. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We notice this place because we come to eat here in a restaurant here. And every time we stop by, obviously it's chicken, so it catches Lisa's attention. I'm like, hell yeah, chicken. The first, you know, it catches his attention, but every time we come here, it's always full. Right now it's full. Yeah. It's always full. And today's, well, today's a, uh, see? Martin Luther okay. King Day. Mm -hmm. So people are off. But usually on Mondays, not that busy, but damn. Not on the weekend. No, I said usually on the, mm -hmm. like Monday's not as busy. Not because it's Monday. Mm -hmm. you know? No, but I'm saying we would come here in this area on the weekends yeah, it's to always eat. Full. And it's always packed. <clears throat> like nowhere to sit packed. It's not that big either. But there's a there's at least, I would say, no more than 15 tables. Yeah. So, full. <laughs> I'm definitely coming back though. It's good. Yeah, the fries like are good. Like my burger was delicious. Is delicious. Mm-hmm. Like, mm. I'm definitely trying the next spicy level because this is not that spicy. This one's That's like mild. Supposed, this one's supposed to be like mild, but there was another one that was like spicy. This one's. I think the other one is a uh, buffalo sauce. Buffalo something. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes I've tried chicken sandwiches where they're like soggy or they're soggy or dry dry or they're not as flavorful like there's nothing special especially when they put pickles on there this <laughs> one has something special Jeez, yeah you're still eating it with no bread mm -hmm. all right everything is cooked to perfection good, huh? yeah 
Thanks, Oh, this is a good question. Where do we see each where do we see ourselves in five years? Um now that like you know, we're better we're in a different place, um in life because i think i answered this question in one of our other videos but our, that video was like four years old i think or like three years old but from now and like where do we see ourselves what would you say in the bahamas <laughs> mm, hopefully traveling i think so yeah i mean probably do you see yourself like us having a house no definitely a house kids? maybe another kid you know um, adopting because i'm not popping another uh, kid yes out. you are it's cool <laughs> Uh, yeah. We'll see. You know, own your own businesses. That's the big one, I think. <laughs> what? I can laugh, babe. Okay, business owner. More <laughs> kids, that's what Luis said. What was the other thing that you said? Well, you're shut up. Fry up a butt. Hmm. Where I see us. Having our own home already, like property. That's what I said. Um, traveling. Maybe more kids. Dude, my foot's so itchy. Actually, yeah. Within five years, I think we're gonna have another kid because I don't want them to be like too far apart. Too far apart. I want them to be at least. No more than five years. No more than five years apart. At least within three to four years i think four is pushing it i see myself probably with a lot more subscribers like our channels and our followers um if we you know that's the plan so and mm, we definitely want to have property in a different country right mm -hmm. you see yourself like in five years having property in another country? Yeah. I get this chicken between my teeth out. Um. Dude, my foot is. Okay, itchy. this is a good one. What's a weird habit that we both have? Oh, my sex. You be capping. Sex. <laughs> no, um. It's a weird habit that I have. No, you. So she has this habit where she uses something, and then blames me, and then says I was the last one to use it when she was the one that was using it last. But then I always take the L because it's always you, you, you. Huh? Yeah, that's a weird habit. Sounds like a pet peeve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say a weird habit that he has. Oh, actually, hold on. There's a good one. A weird habit that this man has is that, you know, we'll be buying Capri Suns and stuff. And say he'll, like, we'll be in the kitchen. He's, like, opening his straw. You know, you bring your straw on the freaking counter. And then he'll throw the plastic in the, what is that thing called? In the food dispenser. In the sink. No, I don't. Yeah. Or he'll be peeling an orange or a tangerine and he'll throw the peels inside of the sink. Or you're eating like a, a sopa maruchan or something. It sounds like you're complaining now. Huh? No, no, no. <laughs> it's, a, it's a weird habit that no, you have. Uh, it's a, like you'll be eating a sopa maruchan or something and using like a, a disposable fork or, or whatever. And then when he's done, he throws the, the fork in the freaking sink where the, the dispenser is. No, I you yes, be, you do. Yeah, uh, see, I told you guys, she be capping. I think that's a weird habit that he has. What was your first impression of me? He's got a big booty. <laughs> that was your first impression. That's a lie. And, and no, has, that's a lie. Like your, your first impression couldn't have been the booty because I picked you up in my car. And I was I sitting down. Booty. No, you can't. Trust me. Okay, what is your first uh, impression of me? Jokes aside, <laughs> jokes aside. You have a very beautiful smile. Oh. Give me a kiss. Okay, my first impression of Lewis was those are some big, nice eyeballs. That's what I thought at first. 
He has some nice big old eyeballs. What do you like him? That that's what I said. That was my first impression. Like actually yeah, that was my first impression that you had really nice eyes. You know they're nice and big. I bagged, I, I bagged her with the eyes. No, it took more than the eyeballs. <laughs> it took more than the eyeballs. Did you know we were having a boy or a girl? Like, what was your instinct before we found out the gender? You go first. I knew we were gonna have a girl. I told you. I told you that uh, my preference doesn't. You know, it was like a boy just because. Well, I don't know. Just preference wise but it doesn't matter to me just as long as the baby's healthy but i knew deep down i told her i was like i you know i would like a boy comes out a boy but deep down i was like it's gonna be a girl and same thing everyone was telling us it's a he boy said, he said he felt like it was a girl he felt like it's gonna be a girl because everyone's saying it's a, yeah it's it was a boy, a boy yeah. which i was pretty much not it didn't happen because of that but i was right that it was gonna be a girl your, what you felt was right yes <clears throat> i felt kind of the same i felt like everyone well i'm not gonna lie i was kind of convinced by what everyone was telling me because <laughs> everyone was telling me i was having a boy we went to mexico when i was <clears throat> me and his uh, mom went to mexico when i was six or seven months mm, i think i was like no actually like four, five, i was like five months yeah. yeah i was five months pregnant and i did a 4d ultrasound and by that time, people were still telling me I was having a boy <clears throat> just because of my face was like really like skinny, I guess. And then I don't know, you know, those Mexican or Latino myths that people be having, like my stomach was like, like a certain shape or whatever. And then um, we did the ultrasound and then his mom said that she saw like a little, like a little salchichita, you know, like a little sausage. A big sausage and then um but it could have also been the umbilical cord because we told them to keep the the gender of the baby like private like we just wanted to see the features you know and then um yeah and then she sent them to more family members i sent them to more family members and they're like it's a boy like it's confirmed it's a boy people were just saying that just because of the features um and then i was like damn maybe i really am having a boy but deep down i felt like it was a girl um and yeah i feel like it was it was you know a girl and that's <laughs> we were just happy and surprised what is your biggest craving i feel like in this pregnancy luis is getting the cravings because i don't get any cravings i don't have i don't have like an increase in appetite well i would say you're the one who craves things mostly i crave a lot of like chips, I would say. Like chips, um, yeah. Like Mostly chips. chips. He craves chips. Like, like with tabatillo, lime. Yeah. Tahine. We'll literally be, be laying in bed, and he's like, "Damn, some chips sound bomb right now." Like out of nowhere <laughs> at nighttime, where we're ready to bed, <laughs> or like, I always hear him like, "This sounds so good," or he's like, "Do you want something from 76?" Like I'm gonna go get something from like from the store down the street, you know, the gas station. I feel like that's always you all the time. But I guess for me, I would say I crave more sweet things, like cheesecake, like like a flan, or like a. Sometimes I crave. I, I love ice cream, strawberry ice cream. Yeah. That's. That's. A, that's I can eat that whenever. Yeah. But for me, I would for, say more sweets too. For breakfast, <laughs> lunch. We might stop by. And ice dinner. Cream. More. What has been the best part of being pregnant? I guess this question. Is more for me right <clears throat> what's the best part of being pregnant i think i would say like feeling her movements is nice it's when you feel your baby moving like to me that's it feels nice i would say that's the best part what's the worst part of being pregnant i would say the worst part is i would say for me is like not being comfortable at night like i switch sides so many times because i never really used to sleep on my sides as often as i do i'm always a i'm like a tummy sleeper so i'm always like switching sides um Luis got me like a pregnancy pillow which has made my life a lot easier but during my pregnancy um and another thing i would say is wardrobe like i literally live in leggings and stretchy like 
one pieces like those jumpsuits <clears throat> do you have any names picked out um that's a surprise for you guys well that'll be a surprise video yeah we should we're gonna do like a little name reveal or something that wraps up our <laughs> tag slash muck main do you have anything to say uh no just stay tuned stay tuned for more videos thank you for watching and subscribe like um and support us guys continue to support us and show us love and we appreciate all of you and we'll be back with more videos peace